Hi, my name is Ricardo Klinger and I'm the owner somehow of this channel called Digital Geography and uh, I would like to talk about some career advices today. Um, but first let me shed some light into who I am and what I've done in the past. So I was um, studying mathematics and geography at the university. I planned to be a teacher but then the signs took my heart and I went to Mongolia four times and uh, but due to the fact that I would like to earn some money in my career I skipped the science part and I became an SAP consultant for banks here in Europe so I traveled around some banks for six years and uh, did some implementation projects using different software living in hotels but um, then I remembered okay I learned something at the university, something about GIS, programming, geography, science. So let's use this for a living, right? And uh, so I became pro uh, project manager at SG Germany. And after one and a half year, it took me further as a program manager for network planning at an, uh, at an EV infrastructure provider. And later on, or now, I am a technical lead for a medium-sized German company that works for mainly for the government. And yeah, so I make a living out of it with GIS. So when I'm talking about myself, I discovered some, or from my personal point of view, I see four, let's say four arguments that are quite important. First of all, be active. It's not getting a network or something like that, but be active. Because you will learn something, you will enhance your skills, you will be known, and you will be visible to future employers, and in if you are already employed, for your next career step. Um, but being active, I mean, enroll into programming, share your ideas, your thoughts, your fails, your products, your cartographic adventures, whatever comes into your mind and GIS is quite a broad field. So we are talking about cartography, we are talking about data, programming, using GIS. So I've learned a cool way to do a proper analysis in name a GIS here. And it works like that. Simple as that. Drop a YouTube video or make a little TikTok out of it or whatsoever. So there are niches and people have the same questions. Enroll at Gistot Stack Exchange. Answer questions there. Even the easiest questions might have, might get a new answer from you personally. As an answer that no one has, right? So because you encountered the same problem in the past already and found a quick solution for it. And uh, by saying so, so, so be active, be found. So you, you, people n can connect you with your activities or with some activities. Because if you are enrolling for a job or applying for a job, the only thing the employer or that your future employer has in the hand is your CV and maybe a portfolio at first place. So it requires quite a trust in these two papers. But if he Googles your name and if he found some information about you on the web that fits this first impression, it will provide or it, it can lead to more confidence in you as a person and a proper understanding on how you work and what are you doing and what sort of person you are. So that makes this whole enrolling into a company much easier for the your, your future employer. And even if you're in a certain stage, it will be possible for you that you gain some insight into new fields of your work and you can enrich your daily task with new, um, with new expertise. So be active. Second thing, by being active, of course, you need to connect to some people or you will connect to some people, either by answering or by 
working and chatting with them. So go into go on Twitter, join the GIS tribe is the hashtag, enroll with Gist Chat on Thursdays, um, go to meetups, and not only going to meetups, that comes back to the number one, be active. So share your ideas, discuss, discuss, present your solutions. Create a new meetup, your geospatial industry meetup at your local place, right? Um, create a blog, write blog post, enroll to some forum or maybe, well, write on my blog, Digital Geography. So that was, as I was a banking uh, consultant, I thought, well, I can throw away like six years of, of, of learning things. Uh, but I I decided to, to create digitalgeography.com in my, in my spare time at the night at the hotel. And uh, I said to myself, I need to publish one article per week. And I created this YouTube channel and so on. So I, I tried to connect with different parts of the industry to, to get my understanding of GIS uh, into the world. So that's why I said be active and, and build a network that fits to you. So it could be Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, your own blog, whatsoever. Just do something. And then... Of course, look around. So sometimes people, oh, no, I just want to have that one GIS job. Nothing else. So as said, GIS is so much about, it is, it, is somewhat in, in, it is such a broad field where you can deal with geospatial data, either from a programming perspective, cartography data, science, whatsoever, or simply using the GIS tool. Um, that there, sometimes there are jobs out there you won't even connect with GIS, but at least even you can, in the banking industry, I developed a prototype which pins down errors in the accounting from A to B on a, a map, right, where you had boxes for your systems and it was, well, there were so many, so many errors. So you can, could have pan zoomed and do cluster analysis and stuff like that on the map, which has your IT infrastructure in it. So there are different aspects and you can you can enrich so many things with a geospatial thinking that looking onto indeed just with ESRI um, would not quite be a good idea. So you can look around for Oracle jobs, you can look around for program management, project management, um, technical uh, stuff, development, testing. Testing is quite an issue for the industries. And if you're more that user of GIS, testing might be a good fit to you because then you can use the software all day long, right? And you can uh, write what you're doing. And then if you have gone through these three steps, building, in, building a network, participating or be active, and you searched everything already, why not try freelancing, you know? It's quite a, po a possibility for you to, to, to go onto the market and, and share what you have done already. And finding a possible client is not that hard. I thought to myself, well, I'm, I'm based in Germany, so the wages are quite high here. There are so many talented people in, in other parts of the world where they charge just like $15 per hour, which is cheap in an from a German perspective, but still, there are clients you will be a good fit to. And uh, you can decide for yourself whether you would like to work five hours a week or 50 hours a week. It's just up to you and your client. So this will furthermore enrich your expertise. You will get to know the industry better and it might even get you into a permanent position at the client because if he is... is some are convinced by your quality. And if he likes your way of communicating and solving things, of course, this is even a better way to get a job because you know each other already and um, you can rely on each other. So these are my four, four points. Sorry for the long time. So, but once again, be active, participate wherever you can, be found on the web. Um, build a social network that you can rely on and, and it can connect with. Um, look around, even if you're not very into a job, always be prepared for the next position and try freelancing. 
that's it for the moment. Thanks you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.